Hello there, it's Andy Parks from the Washington Times, and I will step, lightly I might add, into this week's world of news in just a few seconds. You know, as a listener to my podcast, you qualify to receive a 50% discount on an annual digital subscription to the Washington Times. Simply go to WashingtonTimes.com slash Andy. That's WashingtonTimes.com slash A-N-D-Y. All right. What an action-packed week, ladies and gentlemen. The president, the president, Joe Biden, who's a puppet, was caught with no mask at a posh Georgetown restaurant. Yes, he and First Lady Jill don't play by the rules they want enforced. It's just so nice to be a Democrat, isn't it? You know, rules for thee, not for me. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg returned from maternity leave. I guess that's what you call it. I don't know. Funny no one in the mainstream media knew about it. Yeah, it took a couple of months off to bond with his husband and the newly acquired twins. And he's upset with Tucker Carlson for telling the world about it. Yeah. Great time for a vacation, right, Pete? Worst transportation issues in years, and you're stressing the importance of bottle feeding your children. And for the record, what do you know about transportation? Obviously, nothing. Upon Pete's return, he issued a statement saying the supply chain failure is a result of Biden's successes. And he said as much on these Sunday TV news shows. Uh, part of what's happening isn't just the supply side, it's the demand side. Demand is off the charts. Retail sales are through the roof. And if you think about those images of uh, ships, for example, waiting at anchor on the West Coast, you know, every one of those ships uh, is full of record amounts of goods that Americans are buying uh, because demand is up, because income is up, uh, because the president has successfully guided this economy out of the teeth of a terrifying recession. Yes, yes, the guider in chief. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> President has successfully guided this economy out of the teeth of a terrifying recession. Let me tell you something. You have to be one super gullible liberal Biden supporter to believe that line. Meanwhile, for the past couple of weeks, Biden has refused to take questions about his failures when it comes to transportation issues. Hey, is it me or are the best people not in the jobs surrounding the Biden administration? I mean, let's start at the top. Biden, he's a whack job. He's done. He's toast. Everybody knows that. Kamala Harris, as his VP choice, after the two hated each other in a debate before the election, but then he claimed, oh, well, I will, uh, I'll make sure I select a woman and it will be a black woman. Well, yeah. How about the best woman for the job? You know, I mean, seriously. Would you compare Condoleezza Rice with Kamala Harris? Rice stands head and shoulders above her. But instead, no, Harris who is nowhere to be found most of the time. And as far as the border issues go, she's basically gone. In the case of Pete Buttigieg, we just talked about, the only run-in this guy's had with transportation issues is getting the kids and his husband into the Mini Cooper on the weekend. I mean, come on. And then there's Richard Rachel Levine, the transgendered member of the Biden team, who officially became a four-star admiral just so they can say, wow, see, look, uh, there are opportunities there for transgendered as well. Not the best person, but because of his sexual, her sexual orientation, whatever he, she is. Look at others like John Kerry. Here's a guy who has dedicated himself to climate change issues around the world. John, back off, buddy. I'd worry more about the Chinese hypersonic missiles that can deliver a nuclear warhead to us in no time. And by the way, that would change the climate, I don't know, to about 2,000 degrees. And speaking of wackos, the Fouch, Anthony Fauci, who has proven time and time again over the past year he's a liar. He claimed the U.S. had no involvement in the gain-of-function research at the Wuhan lab when records indicate we, the American taxpayers, paid for at least part of it. 
He claimed college football games would become super spreader events. Didn't happen. He wants to control your life and can't stand criticism from half of America. Check this out. I have stood for always making science, data, and evidence be what we guide ourselves by. And I think people who feel differently, who have conspiracy theories, who deny reality that's looking them straight in the eye, those are people that don't particularly care for me. And that's understandable, because what I do, and I try very hard, is to be guided by the truth. And sometimes the truth becomes inconvenient for some people, so they react against me. No, really? You went before the United States Senate and you lied? You said we had nothing to do with the gain-of-function research at the Wuhan lab when we did? You make things up like super-spreader events? Oh, and just this week, you gave us permission to celebrate Christmas, as long as family members and friends are vaccinated. Oh, thank you, great one. Let us bow to you. Why hasn't this idiot been fired? President Joe Biden, a guy who tiptoes lightly around the defund the police efforts by his Democrat colleagues, took to the podium Saturday at the National Peace Officers Annual Memorial Service to mourn the death of 500 law enforcement officers in the line of duty. But he also said police must work harder to gain the trust of communities. How about that for a slap? How about this, Joe, and you bunch of liberals? The cops are not the bad guys. They aren't killing people at random on the streets, assaulting people for no reason, stealing, looting, or burning down our cities. Why not let the cops do their job? Let them take out the trash. Then and only then will you restore safety and peace in those communities. Period. Even lockdown Larry. Rhino, governor of Maryland, has finally realized that defunding the police hasn't worked in his own state. Duh, that didn't take long, did it, Larry? In New York this past week, three members of NYPD's Civilian Traffic Enforcement Unit were violently attacked by a wacko involved in an accident. I guess a real cop would have worked a little better, right, Bill de Blasio? And on top of all of this, the COVID mandates are helping to eliminate police officers in major cities. As if early retirements and recruitment efforts aren't bad enough, now the Chicago Police Department and Mayor Lori Lightfoot want to take away retirement benefits from those cops refusing the vaccine and leaving the force. And finally this week, Congresswoman Mad Maxine Waters made another payment to her daughter from the campaign cash jar in the office. Yep, $74,000 so far this year. Karen Waters has been paid over $1.1 million over the years by mom to help with things like putting together a brochure to instruct potential voters and advise them on casting their ballots. Heck, I could have done that a whole lot cheaper. Oh, by the way, her best year, thanks to mom, 2020. $250,000. Now, that's good work if you can get it. By the way, Waters has spread out over a million dollars to other family members in the past. Do you actually think a Republican could get away with that? I don't think so. Thanks for joining me today, and remember to receive a 50% discount on an annual digital subscription to The Washington Times. Go to WashingtonTimes.com slash Andy. You'll get 24-7 digital access to the Washington Times at 50% off. Again, go to WashingtonTimes.com slash A-N-D-Y. I'm Andy Parks. Have a great day.